Well, hey, Journey family, Pastor Stephen, and I'm coming to you today in this Advent season. Advent meaning the arrival with season of Christmas, where we celebrate the first coming of Jesus as a baby in a manger, and we anticipate his soon return as our King, Savior, and Lord. What I want to talk about today is out of 1 John chapter 3, verse 5, which says, You know that he appeared in order to take away sins, and in him there is no sin. And I wanted to talk about out of this verse how Jesus had no sin. Jesus was completely sinless. Jesus comes from heaven, from a deep relationship, connection with God the Father and Holy Spirit. And he has no sin and he comes as, as a man. And he lives the perfect life. Meaning, he goes to the nth degree, never gives in to temptation. Never sins in any way in thought or deed. And yet, he comes to us as fully man. And the reason why it's important that he doesn't sin is that he understands all of the pressure and the and the, the agony that it is to resist sin and temptation, but he overcomes. He has a fully formed human experience of pain and loss and hurt. But he does it in a way where he doesn't sin. He's angry, but he doesn't sin. He's hurt, but he doesn't sin. He's in pain, but he doesn't sin. And when, when we think, I don't know how I can make it through this in a way that honors the Lord and the people around me. We can lean into Jesus because Jesus experienced deep hurt, pain, loss, everything that we experienced, fully man, and yet without sin. And He, through the Holy Spirit, gives us the power not to live a completely sinless life because that's not going to happen until we get to heaven, but to increasingly experience the freedom of not having sin in our life. We're never going to get rid of sin completely in this life, this side of heaven. But through Jesus, through the power of the Holy Spirit, we can overcome sin and temptation. And this, this empathy that Jesus offers us, where he says, I, I know the temptation you're feeling. I know how hard it is to go through what you're going through. Jesus is able to empathize with us deeper than any other person. Have you, have you in your times with Jesus just allowed him to empathize with you and allowed Jesus to, to share in your pain? And then, I want to encourage you, there's, there's opportunity every day to just give empathy to people. Not to say, I know exactly what you're feeling, because we can't, as human beings, know exactly what another human being is thinking or feeling. Jesus can, because he's God. So we can, he knows everything that we're thinking and feeling. But when we empathize, we can come in and say, I've experienced something similar. Let me just sit with you in this moment of pain. Tell me the pain you're experiencing. I think right now, all of us are grieving. All of us are struggling. If someone says they're not struggling, they are lying. We are all grieving or struggling in some way. And the need for us to empathize with one another, to care for one another, so this isn't just an abstract theological thing where, oh, Jesus had no sin, and I guess that makes him a great Savior. No, it doesn't just make him a great Savior. It makes him someone who cares for our souls because he experienced all the temptation that we experienced, but he did it without sin. And he knows, he knows a degree of temptation that we've never experienced, a degree of struggle that we've never experienced, and he's overcome it through the power of the Holy Spirit, and he wants to bring care and comfort to you. And he wants you to then take that comfort. 2 Corinthians 1.3 says, Blessed be the God of all comfort who comforts us in all affliction that we can comfort others with the comfort we've received. And so I pray that you would experience the, the comfort of Jesus today and then that you would share that comfort with others. You are greater in the eyes of the Lord than you are on your own. Love you, church. Mm -hmm.